Jammer 94.5 Launchpad is the Super Rockin' DJ on and on, and that was Classic Flavor from Scarface alongside my in-studio guest, Beanie Siegel, who's yeah. joining us in the Launchpad. All right, Beans, this is what we're going to do right now. Uh, first of all, we do the Prison Letter of the Week every week, okay. and this week I have the inmates writing in questions to you. All right, so I'm going I'm to give you some, some kites. I was giving, I have them written down, but there's the first one, just so you know it's real. All right. The first kite comes from Murder in Plymouth County, who writes, I'm headed to the feds for 15 or better because of rats. I don't respect any form of snitching, especially when you're kicking so-called gutter shit. So my question is, did Jay really call up them people? Just need, just need to know to add them to the infested extermination list. Listen. Before I even got there to the, to the building, you got to understand this. It's, it's all documented. This year's powerhouse, if you, Jay came last year. In the Philadelphia Daily News, the day after the powerhouse, it had an article. And I didn't even go to the powerhouse last year. It had an article in it. Uh, inside sources say Jay-Z beats up security for and threat that Beanie Se a retaliation from Beanie Siegel for dropping him from the label. This was in the newspaper. It's in the paper. It's yeah. public record. Mm -hmm. Go it's twenty dollars. You can search it and find it. Mm -hmm. It's public record. That was last year. So when I'm reading this, like, damn, what the fuck? You know what I mean, inside sources say. Right. Where that come from? I ain't never see the powerhouse where they got boot cops walking around with canines and all that shit. Go on the internet, Google it. Bernard Hopkins was there. I didn't even know Bernard was there. Right. Go to allhiphop.com. He confirms it. So there you are, just like the song says. In yeah, because what row. happened was, yeah, I stood right in the... And because they made sweeps. When, Jay, when, when, when it was... When I came in the building... And people was going in the back and all that where the, where, the, where the dressing rooms was at. We was standing in the back, me and my peoples or whatever. Bleak come out with five bodyguards. What's up, see? No, what's going on? Damn, what's up? What you doing? Who back there, Jay? Come on, let's go back there. And you keep on moving the conversation. You don't want to go back there. Your bodyguard's there. And I don't got no, you know what I mean, to pass. You da, 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 da. He was like, man, you need to come holler at the big hunk. Man, dude, don't fuck with me. I ain't mm -hmm. going back there. And that's what I told him. Big homie, don't fuck with me. What I'm going to go back there? What I'm going to say to him? What I'm going to say to him? So when you go back and let Jay know that I was in the building, how is it that Jay, Jay I was coming out with Jay the Kiss. He wanted me to come out with him. How is it that Jadakiss come on, and then after Jadakiss, Carrie Helson. Jadakiss was supposed to close the joint out right before Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. So put Jadakiss right there and let switch them. Let Carrie go on. This way, it'll give us enough time to make our sweeps. But after I got off the stage with Jadakiss, I went up in the stands in the crowd. And I watched the cops walk around the whole venue. And I watched them. So they must have got the green light here in their head. When I when, when Jay got on stage, I just wanted them to see me. I stood in front of the stage. Oh, let me stand right here, big man. And I had on this, the army joint. And when he seen me, it was like, how the fuck this nigga right here? Right. And he saluted me. And he walked to the side after he was doing his one million, two million, three million, four shit. And walked over, told the chick Carlene, the same bitch that told Kanye, he could buy two tickets at the joint. Right. You know what I mean? He whispered something to her. She comes down the stage, walk past me. Hey, how you doing, sweetie? Give me this little kiss like she, and keep it moving. Taps the security boy and walks in the back with him. Mm. 30 seconds later, 40 security niggas come up in yellow jaggers and black shirts like y'all got to move from this area. So he stood to the side. Then the boot cops and the police come in there. No, y'all got to move out of this area. Like, y'all got to go. Right. For what? I got an all-access pack. That shit ain't good no more. You got to get the fuck out of hell. We locking people up. They pulling out sticks and all kind of shit. So, but their angle was you didn't have a specific seat. 
No, so, no, we not going to get him no excuse, yo. That angle was <laughs> get Beanie Siegel to fuck out this building. Right. Because if I got all these security motherfuckers right here and this nigga standing right in front of me, right. he was uncomfortable. You got to look at it. Beanie Siegel, Rockefeller Records, da 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 on the biggest tour, moving around. Bam, he's locked up for an attempted murder. So that tell you, that shit don't mean nothing to me. If it got to go down, it's going to go the fuck down. I'm going to bust your ass all the way around the board. That's just how I am. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about that shit. When you cross that line to the point where I got to move out, no hesitation, dog. It's killed to be killed. I'm going to kill. He understand that. Mm -hmm. He understands that. He, I've been on tour with Jay. Jay know how I move. It been incidents where I had to come correct. Jay knows that. So me standing right there, he was uncomfortable. Get him the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. And and was and was the police getting involved really? Get him the what, fuck out of here. What you what got under your skin? I mean, get him out of here. Damn, dog. Yeah. I wasn't there for that. If that was the case, yo, we would have been in that back room. Right. It wasn't about that. Like I said, I still, I got, I had love for him. This ain't the green light for y'all. I'm taking my brother in the yard. This ain't the green light for all y'all little freaks to start coming at the ball. Because at mm -hmm. the end of the day, if he talked to me, it's over. Mm -hmm. As a man, I don't hate Jay. That ain't, that ain't what this about. I don't hate him, but damn, dog, that's how you feel. I feel as though you owe me a conversation. Right. That's it. You too big to talk to me? You ate my mom oxtails, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you know yeah, what I mean? You yeah. too big to talk to me, yo? I feel as though I deserve that conversation, yo. Because at any given time, when we is together, if anything got out of hand, yo, I put my life on the line for that Rockefeller shit. Mm -hmm. Fuck the music shit and battle with niggas. It was situations where I had to hold shit down. When security ain't had no burners. Mm -hmm. They just was big. This big in a way for this big for nothing. Mm -hmm. You can't box no bullet. Yo, what up? Holla at your boy. Shout out to Danny S. DJ Danny S.